Today I'm preparing a phyllo tart. This is a special dish that my mom used to make when we had guests over. I'm going to take my sweet potatoes and saute them with a little bit of olive oil and some salt just to soften them up. While my potatoes are sauteing, I'm going to get my meat going. So I fried up some onions, I'm going to add the beef and some spices and get it all cooked up. Okay, these are transparent enough for me. I'm going to add the beef. Let's add a little bit more salt, just a pinch, and some more black pepper. I feel that black pepper brings out the most delicious flavors in beef. And the spice that's going to be dominating this recipe is nutmeg. But remember to use it sparingly, because a little bit of the nutmeg goes a long way. Now I'm going to saute the spinach. I've heated up some olive oil and I'm going to take these two bunches and they're going to shrink probably a lot less than half this size. Let's get them in there. While my spinach is heated up, I'm just going to add a couple of pinches of salt. And I like to spice it up by adding some dried dill. I'm going to take my zucchini, which is the last layer of the tart, and saute these as well. I've just put some olive oil. I'm going to give them a few minutes to get a little crispy on the rounds, and then we're done and we can start building our tart. I've opened up my sheet of phyllo dough, and I'm just going to take the dough and lay it over my already greased baking dish. Just kind of lay it in there. There'll be some excess on the sides, which we're going to take some scissors and trim. I've mashed my first layer, which was the sweet potatoes, um, over my phyllo dough. And now I'm going to take the second layer, which is the ground beef, and put it over the sweet potatoes. Spread it around, get a nice even layer. Just a little dash of nutmeg over the ground beef to give it a little spice. Great. And now we're going to put the third layer, which is our sauteed spinach. I just whisked up three eggs with a cup of heavy cream I'm going to pour this over my whole tart. Now it's time for me to put the mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add just a little pinch of nutmeg and let's take our zucchini, lay them over the very top. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees where I'm going to bake my phyllo tart for about 30 to 35 minutes. Oh, looks beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to let it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes and then it's time to enjoy this tart. 